You know, Prince, I was very surprised to read something that really startled me. And it uh, is sort of uh, a radical turn of events. Some Muslim writers, actually, I'd like for you to see what they had to say. Muslim writers, Islam to blame for global terror? Are you kidding? The Arab world uh, seems to be admitting that Islam itself is the problem. And the only way to curb the terror is to come across and admit what is happening. Oh, my word. Thank God for those Muslims. Absolutely. Well, I do. Absolutely. Nasrallah, the Israeli home front will be hit. Now, Nasrallah is the Hezbollah chairman, and he says, our aim is Israel. We want Israel. We want to hit them. That's our main aim. And then Gaza, jihadi, military aid won't save Israel. There you see it again. And who else? America, from the wrath of Allah. Certainly that is their main goal, Israel and America. And then again, from the, the Times of Israel, hundreds would die, missiles would rain everywhere in all-out war. That's the Israeli Defense Force that they predict. They say hundreds of us will die. It's going to be a horrible, horrible holocaust almost all over again. Well, you know, Jack, I want to throw this out to you. Is Israel and America the main goal of those four leaders that we've been talking about? They're going to come down, and Iran's going to join the other three, and all the northern confederacy is going to come down on Israel. That's their main goal, isn't it? There's something that the Muslims don't understand. We have a God called Jehovah. And the second member of the Trinity is the Lord Jesus Christ, also God. And the Holy Spirit is God, and the three are one. It doesn't matter if you say that anyone who believes that will burn in hell forever. Uh, we've got a Bible that's testifying to that fact. But this God loves the Jew. That's right. And you're standing against our God, and he's not going to let it happen. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love you, Israel. That's in the Bible? Yeah. Not only that, but in Isaiah, he says in 42, verse 1, 45, verse 4, and 65, verses 9 and 22, Israel is mine elect, mine elect, my chosen. Not only that, but you're not going to get rid of Israel. It's impossible because I have a great God in heaven. And in Isaiah 56, 5, he says, I have given Israel an everlasting name. Hitler can do it and you can't do it. God loves the Jew and he loves his people, the Christians. And you're going to pay when you meet God for the 300 million Christians you've killed since the Crusades.